This one's called Flash Paper. I wrote this song when my dad passed away. He, uh, he left me this box of keepsakes, and it was, uh, it was in a cigar box. It looked like he had cleared out his junk drawer. I took them all to figure out what all the stuff was. It was all those little things you hang on to that wouldn't necessarily mean anything to anybody else. Um, shoelace from his favorite hiking trip, uh, reading ribbon from grade school, matchbook from his bachelor party, stuff like that. And in there, he left a uh, flash drive with a video on it, and he instructed me not to watch it until Christmas. He passed away in November. I don't know why he wanted to ruin Christmas. I, don't know. <laughs> I thought there was gonna be something cool in there, like directions to send him a gift or something. Just, just a sad video. Uh, no reference to Christmas. I don't know why he wanted me to wait, but um, I watched it and I had a lot of mixed emotions about it. You know, he was a good old boy from East Texas. He wasn't good at sharing his emotions or communicating. And uh, he said some things in the video I wish he had the courage to say while he was here. Um, that made me mad. I was grateful that I had the video. I was sad for him that he lived his whole life that way. Um, that's a hard way to, to be. And uh, so I wrote this song about it and then I cut it the next week. And fast forward 10 months because of the pandemic and we're releasing the album um, in my hometown. And I played on playing the song at the end of the set. And uh, I realized actually I had no idea how to play it. But I realized that like, on stage in front of everybody. And I struggled my way through it anyway. And uh, so since then, I uh, only played at some shows. Um, you guys have been listening really well. I appreciate it. So I'd like to play it for you tonight.